and semester 3 paper number 6 cbcs syllabus is plant physiology in this unit number 2 is photosynthesis today we will see about mechanism of photosynthesis light reactions we will start to learn this topic with mechanism of photosynthesis or light reactions it includes photolysis of water. Photosynthesis can be defined as a process in green plants by which carbohydrates are synthesized using CO2 and water as raw material. With help of chlorophyll, in the presence of light producing water and oxygen as byproducts. It shows equation. 6CO2 plus 12H2O in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll forms C6H12O6 plus 6H2O plus 6O2. The equation shows that the process of photosynthesis is an oxidation reduction process in which water is oxidized, removal of hydrogen and CO2 is reduced addition of hydrogen. For the reduction of CO2, H2 is obtained by splitting of water molecules or photolysis of water. In this process, O2 is evolved as a byproduct. The synthesis of carbohydrate from CO2 is the assimilation of CO2. It requires assimilatory power. It is in form of hydrogen donor molecule and NADPH2 plus ATP molecules. The synthesis of assimilatory power molecules is possible only in the presence of sunlight and it requires photosynthetic apparatus with photosynthetic pigments. Such synthesis of assimilatory power is a light dependent process. The assimilation of CO2 does not require light and therefore it is light independent process. In the process of photosynthesis, two separate phases are present, light dependent phase or Hill reaction and light independent phase is dark reaction or CO2 fixation. All the processes involved in light reaction or Hill reaction are carried out in granum region of the chloroplastid. While all the reactions in the CO2 fixation or dark reactions are carried out in the stroma region of a chloroplastid. Photosystems first and second during light reaction the assimilatory power molecules ATP and NADPH2 are synthesized by photosynthetic electron transport chain with the help of photosystem first and photosystem second. These two complexes operate in series with third multiprotein complex called cytochrome complex. Let us see this figure which shows complexes for synthesis of assimilatory power PS first, PS second and cytochrome complex in series. The quantitative analysis of quantasomes indicate that both photosystem first and photosystem second complex contain protein pigment complex molecules. Each photosystem consists of two distinct parts, antenna and reaction center. The maximum number of pigment molecules together form antenna part, while very few chlorophyll A molecule form reaction center. The molecules in antenna part are arranged very close to each other in such a way that after absorption of light energy, 
excitation energy can be easily passed between adjacent pigment molecules by inductive resonance or radiation less energy transfer as compared to reaction center pigment molecule the pigment molecules in the antenna region of photosynthesis are with short wavelength absorbing forms that is they absorb relatively greater amount of energy energy per quantum is inversely proportional to wavelengths shorter the wavelength greater the energy and longer the wavelength less the energy per quantum a reaction center molecule is always chlorophyll a molecule which is the longest wavelength absorbing or lowest energy absorbing form the flow of energy is always higher level to lower level in multimolecular complex like photosystem the energy absorbed by the group of antenna region pigment molecules is greater in amount and antenna region is with higher energy level the reaction center consisting chlorophyll a molecule is with less amount of energy so this part of photosystem is with lower level energy as energy flows from higher to lower level from antenna region or higher energy level the energy flows only in one direction without scattering towards the reaction center or low energy level due to continue supply of energy from antenna to the reaction center photochemical act can be completed by reaction center in photosystem advantage of associating a single reaction with number of antenna pigment molecule increase the efficiency of collection and utilization of sunlight energy in case of plants growing under low light intensity condition antenna region supplemented with protein pigment complex molecules such additional pigment molecules keep the reaction center operating at maximum rates and facilitate harvesting of light energy see this figure which explains photosynthetic electron transport on the surface of inner thylakoid membrane it consists of light harvesting complex oxygen evolving complex phytophytin plastoquinone quinone cytochrome pyridoxine pyridoxine reducing substance and plastocyanin photosynthetic ets system is present in stroma site and in lumen site it is on thylakoid inner membrane it shows photosystem first photosystem second and cytochrome complex and lhc light harvesting complex are the important structures for photolysis of water additional complexes of pigment molecules in the photosystems are called light harvesting complexes which are associated with photosystem first and photosystem second lhc associated with photosystem first are called lhc first and lhc associated with photosystem second are called lhc second these two complexes contain 70% of chloroplastid including chlorophyll b lhc first is small contains chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b molecules in 4 as to 1 ratio the lhc 1 is bound to photosystem first 
एल एच सी सेकेंड कंटेंस क्लोरोफिल ए एंड क्लोरोफिल बी बट देयर रेशो इज वन एस टू टू एज इट कंटेंस मोअर क्लोरोफिल बी इन एडिशन टू क्लोरोफिल्स एल एच सी सेकेंड कंटेंस कैरोटीनाइट्स एंड झांतोफिल्स this lhc first and lhc second have an important role in regulation of energy distribution and electron transport process due to presence of light harvesting complex the efficiency of transfer of energy from antenna pigment molecule reaction center is very high only 10% energy is lost and nearly 90% energy is utilized the photosystem first complex contains 200 chlorophyll and 50 carotenoid molecules in antenna part and single P seven hundred chlorophyll A molecule in the action center. In addition to these pigment molecules, photosystem first shows presence of cytochrome B, cytochrome F, plastocyanin, ferridoxin reducing substance, membrane bound ferridoxin molecules. Photosystem first is rich in chlorophyll A molecule, iron and copper. all these chlorophyll a molecules along with carotenoids present in antenna region absorb light energy and transfer it to reaction center p700 molecule the photosystem second complex contains 200 chlorophyll 50 carotenoid in the antenna part and chlorophyll a p618 reaction center in addition to these pigments the system shows presence of ubiquinone plastoquinone manganese molecules bound to proteins cytochrome b 559 cytochrome b6 molecule of chlorides with photosystem second special complex is associated which is called as a oxygen evolving complex in this slide we will learn about photochemical reactions which are influenced by light intensity and are independent of temperature when light intensity is moderate co2 supply is normal rate of photosynthesis influenced by light intensity shows that photochemical reactions are involved in mechanism of photosynthesis these photochemical reactions are essential for production of assimilatory power molecules required for biochemical reaction during co2 fixation photochemical reactions motivated by two photosystems which control entire mechanism of photosynthesis immersion effect confirmed the presence of two photosystems and occurrence of two photochemical reactions in the process of photosynthesis during these two photochemical reactions the photosystem first controls the process of producing strong reductant to reduce nadp and nadph2 photosystem second is concerned with generation of strong oxidant and weak reductant coupled with evolution of oxygen this slide shows photosystem first and photosystem second which shows reaction centers antenna region and wavelengths longer than 6 atnm 
and shorter than 6 atnm in photosystem first and photosystem second respectively the photochemical reactions carried out with the help of two separate systems are mainly responsible for fixation of light energy and conservation of this energy by photophosphorylation process the fixed light energy is conserved in atp molecules photochemical reactions photosystem carries out splitting of water molecule in which o2 is evolved the other products of photolysis are hydrogen ion and electrons which are used for reduction of nadp and release energy to be conserved the molecules of atp synthesized during the process and molecules of nadph produced simultaneously supply energy and hydrogen during carbohydrate synthesis in co2 fixation since atp and nadph2 together form assimilatory power molecules by photochemical reactions which required for co2 assimilation see this light immersion enhancement effect for the process of photosynthesis sunlight energy in the range of visible spectrum 400 nm to 740 nm is absorbed by photosynthetic pigments in the range of visible spectrum seven different zones are present different wavelength of light with violet ray having shorter wavelength at one end of spectrum and red rays having longer wavelength at other end of the spectrum the different pigments absorb light energy from different zones in visible spectrum these light energy absorbing pigments are in form of photosystem for maximum efficiency both system must function together photosystem first is with reaction center p700 and so this system can absorb light energy in longer wavelength region or red region the photosystem second is with reaction center p680 which cannot absorb light from a region beyond 680 nm visible spectrum in 1943 immersion and lewis studied photosynthesis using cells of unicellular algae chlorella they observed that rate of photosynthesis remain more or less constant over visible spectrum that is light from all zones in the visible spectrum is equally effective in photochemical reactions but when they tried to study the rate of photosynthesis by exposing the cells only to monochromatic red light in the region beyond 680 nm they observed drop in the rate this adverse effect of monochromatic light is called red drop effect immersion and coworkers in 1952 1955 set up an experiment using chlorella cells to find out the cause of red drop effect during this experiment they used two different beams of light one with 650 nm to 680 nm and second with 700 nm to 720 nm see this table in the first condition photosynthesizing cells of chlorella exposed to 650 nm to 680 nm and rate of photosynthesis noted as x in second condition chlorella cells were exposed to 700 nm to 720 nm rate of photosynthesis was noted as y in third condition cells of chlorella were exposed to 650 to 720 nm rate of photosynthesis 
expected by immersion as x plus y. So photosynthesis observed by them was more than sum of x plus y. There was enhancement in the rate of photosynthesis. During their experiment, the photosynthesizing cells of chlorella were exposed to three different conditions. By exposing the cells to three different conditions, Emerson discovered that two beams of light were used and the photosynthesizing cells were allowed to absorb light energy from wavelengths shorter to longer than 690 nm. The rate of photosynthesis shows definite enhancement. It was two to three times greater than sum of rates obtained with each beam separately. This enhancement is immersion enhancement effect. Let us see this figure. A and B effect of single beam of light. C effect of both the beams in combination and C plus is enhancement in photosynthetic rate. When there was combination of both the beams then significance of immersion effect the discovery of immersion effect suggested the presence of photosystems and photochemical reactions the enhancement effect also suggests that one photosystem function with short wavelength of light and other functions with long wavelength of light the enhancement effect confirmed that to maximum photosynthetic efficiency, both the system must drive simultaneously or must function together. After discovery of electron microscope with the help of some modern techniques, it was confirmed that photosynthetic apparatus pigment systems are present. So photosynthetic apparatus consists of pigment system, photosystem first and photosystem second. These two photosystems must complete together to perform the photochemical act. Thank you.